What's up, Fortnite people? Somebody's gun here. We're gonna be watching Day and Clicks play Endgame because I've loved the evolution of this team from simply being two fraggers just running around causing chaos and really turn themselves into one of the most formidable teams in this season. We're gonna go ahead and watch their win. What they were able to do here was 10 Elims and the Victory Royale. What I found special was the high ground take and just how cohesive they played throughout this entire game. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get right to it. We're going to jump right into these two in fifth zone because we're just watching the end game. The mid game really didn't have anything interesting. Take a peek. They're both looking pretty good. Clicks has all the mats. He's got a launch pad, which they'll use on first moving. But we see they're in a pretty good position, and this is where you want to be. The interesting thing I find about this duo is this is really the first time that Clicks is leading a team being the IGL and I've noticed watching them day has increased his safeness in his peaks sometimes he really goes all out or doesn't protect himself while going for a play or for sh some shots over this finals I think he did a much better job of doing this and I think that's one of the reasons why we saw these guys succeed so so much during FNCS finals but We'll watch this play out here, and I want to highlight a few things. One of them is going to be the high ground takes. Two of them is going to be the way these guys look for refreshes. And then the third one is how they go on to win the game. So let's hang around, stick, and watch this. We'll watch the entire end game, see how this plays. We'll probably watch the height take a couple of different times because I think it's that important. But here's first rotate. We see Clicks was looking up in his cone the entire time, making sure no one was above him. Clear path, going to hit the pad, boom, and these guys are able to rotate in the zone. This is always something that's important, is finding a safe place to land. So hanging up in the air long enough, he does find a safe space where they can successfully land together and do so without getting a lot of damage. And then we're going to see them find a player above. Uh, when the replay uh, desync comes back, we will see Princess Wolf is full boxed. So this is something that they do really well is identifying players that are out by themselves and weakening them, putting them in poor positions. Clicks is really good at playing off of day when he goes for boxes and things like that and then protecting him. So we see that happen right there. We don't obviously see the entirety of it. And then smart move by Clicks to throw down the chili chug splash make sure you have the speed and then get ahead of the zone because that's one of the most detrimental things you could do in end game is be behind on zone so we see these guys putting themselves in a much better position and they've rotated into six zone now i'm going to switch to day's pov because he's looking for a refresh here he almost boxes this person on the left and just using these ramps on the back side protecting yourself with walls but using the ramps to get better vision and this is a free elim here that player's got nowhere to go they cut off his teammate throw the wall that's good support by clicks making sure that the teammate's not going to jump in and then boom free refresh and another small piece but is vital to the success of this team is day is not trying to pick up the refresh so he always lets clicks grab the body because he's going to be the lead tarper that is super beneficial. It saves you from having to split or share your materials. Day doesn't need as much, obviously, and he just picks up whatever is left at the end. But now 7th zone rotate. We can see how stacked these guys still are for 7th zone. These constant refreshes that they're able to get are going to make them that much stronger during these end games. And Day is just always going for refreshes and plays right here. But when I said earlier, the one thing... So he put down these two cones above him and is protecting himself. This is a difference that I don't think I saw from him previously. Is taking safer peaks, making sure that he's not over committing or putting himself in vulnerable positions. So we see once again, he's going to stand back, only use this window. There is a little bit of vulnerability here from Jamper and their team. But honestly, the only real person that can see them is Pam Stoop. And Spade, who's making that rotate. But another clean peek here. And Day's just going to clean that up on the backside of Storm. Nice, easy Elim. And those points just rack up. We, we see they, they're going to drop 10 Elims this game. And that's huge. Now we're going back to Clix's POV because he's leading the tarp. And they're about to go for a height play. So this is huge. We see they're still in a good position material-wise. They have one more Chili Chug. And that's going to be vital to them being able to take height. 
but we're gonna see clicks is looking above and i want to like say this is something that he's done from playing with the likes of bizzle and booga understanding when to look for plays and weaken height so we see them try and chop height right there we're gonna get a little bit of a replay lag here but they're gonna throw down the chili chug splash so they're sped up and when this comes back we will see the retake starts and i'm gonna slow it down so first they wait in storm they're not going for this immediately they're gonna wait to the back side and this is really a nice play because you know both these players are trying to get ahead on height we see bucky and cam they're using wood so that keys me that they're not very strong on materials and then the other piece here is we have clicks going one angle day going the other and these two are going to play two different angles trying to take height so day is fighting one guy he cones cam essentially takes an smg 50 50 he wins that one just barely and then clicks is able to claim high ground if we watch it from Clix's POV, he doesn't really miss a build. It's like a perfect high ground retake, just doing his creative wars, creative zone wars plays. And it does cost them a good bit of material, but ultimately that is going to be the winning moment for these two. Now they just need to stay up here. They have all of the ammo to chill up top and zone is going to bounce in favorable positions where they don't necessarily need to spend and tarp their whole way in. But we see these guys just simply spraying. This is what you want to do when you're on high ground is put pressure on from up above especially when you have the high or uh, the ammo to do so a lot of teams take height and they don't necessarily have the ammo or the materials or whatever it may be to sustain the high ground these guys are in a, a decent spot if someone tries to take height from them we see they're not going to have the materials but they have the loadout to play a heal off if necessary and they also have the ammo to prevent really any team from trying to make a high ground play so you identify where any weak points are or teams that are going to be jumping on you and then you just pressure them with your ar and smg day is going to go ahead be able to get an elim or two clicks is going to go get a refresh and they're going to share some material this will sustain them for just that much longer and it's a key moment because without that refresh i doubt they're able to stay on height and now they're just able to chill up here and spray down put their feet up you guys don't need me to comment what's going on. Really, all you're doing is trying to find the second height team or some team that's looking up at you visually. And then you start shooting at them, trying to weaken them. So we see these guys going ahead and making a play. They drop down together. That's another huge point is making plays together. They've traded the high ground, but ultimately it's not a big deal. Because Agers, he's got something coming for him and that's clicks. These guys could just spray and just push up, but they were waiting for Day to get fully healthy. Once he is fully healthy, they're going to decide, all right, now's the time to make this play. Shooting from multiple different angles here. Clicks is going to get the final shots, but always pushing different angles and then trying to make plays together is huge. Really key to their success. They were able to thrive in that game. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Summoners Gun. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, check out this next video. Bye.